Hi, Cheryl here again, and I'm doing a watercolor Christmas tags video. Um, this will be the second one. Um, I am using um, Windsor Newton watercolors, and I have two sets a big set and a travel set that I'm using. They're both New Windsor Newton watercolors. And this project is an easy project for beginners. And the Christmas tags are very cute, I think. I'm using a Strathmore watercolor paper. It is 140 pound. I believe it's hot pressed and it is um, acid free and it is also multimedia paper. So it's a little bit thick and it's perfect for tags. I believe I bought it at Hobby Lobby. So what I did here is I drew my design out on a piece of paper. It's in one of my sketchbooks. And this um, design will be on my Patreon page, which will be um, noted down below. It's uh, Art by Cheryl Ann um, at Patreon. And this is free for you to download and use for this project. So what I need to do here is um, trace the design onto tracing paper. Um, my design is about three and a half inches long and you can um, download it and make it any size you want with your printers. But we're going to trace it onto tracing paper and then use um, carbon paper that I'm showing you and you want to use the shiny side down when you transfer it. So I didn't want to use my sketchbook paper, so I transferred it over to a regular piece of paper. And cut it out. And then I went to my recycling bin to find uh, a lid to something. This is to a cottage cheese container and I'm going to cut my pattern out with uh, scissors. That's a fine point Sharpie and I just basically trace around my paper cutout. Which the paper is not very good to trace around. So this will make my pattern for my layout. So like I said, this is an easy project, a perfect project for you to do with your grandkids or your kids. Give them something to do when we're stuck inside because of COVID and can't see anyone or do anything fun. This is a perfect project for that. So I take a regular pair of um, scissors and just cut the pattern out. I will fast forward through most of this. I cut the uh, edges out and then I just cut the pattern out. So there you have it. We have a pattern of a Christmas light bulb that we're going to make our tags with. So now on my paper, I just trace around the um, pattern with a pencil and we'll fast forward through this so I don't bore you to death with it. And I'll come back once I've done all my tracing. So now we have our pattern all traced out and I'm going to use my number 10 watercolor brush 
And this is um, the fun part for the kids. And let them design their own light bulbs. And you don't have to stay in the lines. You don't have to be perfect because you're going to cut them out later. So I use a wet on wet technique. I wet the light bulb, the bottom part of the light bulb, being careful around the top. I don't want the watercolor to go into my um, the top of the uh, light bulb where the hanger part is. But I don't have to be neat around the edges. Just slop it on there and get the paper wet and then bring in my color. And you, this is where you can experiment with your colors. Um, if you have a new watercolor tray and you're not quite sure how you like your colors, you can play around with them as well um, and get to know your color palettes. So wet on wet technique, just blend the paint out, try to get a nice smooth finish. It doesn't really matter. It's hand painted. It The textures in the watercolor are going to look great um, with your the light bulb. So wetting down the area, I come back in with my color, float it, and spread it evenly. I forgot to type de uh, tape down my paper so it doesn't curl on me. So I'm just doing a, a slight taping there so it will hold everything in place. I used a uh, washi tape. So we'll fast forward and we'll get our color down. And you can experiment with this. You don't have to stick with a solid color. You can blend colors. Um, it's just I wanted the traditional light bulb look. So now I'm coming in. I'm going to do a little shading around the edge of the light bulbs. Put a little bit of uh, more color in and blending it with some clear um, water. And as you go out, the, pay, the color should fade. Trying to keep the center of the light bulb a lot lighter than the edges, and it gives you the rounded effect of the light bulb. And watercolor is perfect for this project. We'll do a few of them and then we'll fast forward. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. This, this, this could be, you know, the kids can do what they want and they're going to turn out fantastic. You're going to cut them out and they'll be nice.
So now I clean my brush off and I bring just plain water in and I blend. Just make sure you um, go out to the lines, the, the cutting line. You don't want to miss any spaces there, but going outside the line is not a problem. We're going to pick up some speed now. Don't forget you can mix your colors too. You don't have to stick with the straight palette colors. Um, going in with a little bit of Payne's Gray and I'm floating the just the area of the hanger part of the bulb. Or the fixture part, I guess. Just with some paints gray, and I let leave a little bit of um, darker color towards the where the uh, bulb meets the hanger part. So you see, I went in a little dark on this one, so I take some of the color and use it for the other ones. And again, you don't have to be careful about the outer edges. The only spot you need to be careful about is the connection between the bulb and the hanger part. Moving some of that color off of that second blue one and using it for the others. Okay, so now I have a silver a Posca acrylic paint pen. You can use whatever you have. You can use acrylic paints, you can use your watercolors, um, I would do a dry on dry, a wet on dry technique where the paint on the brush is wet and the paper is dry. Um, and I'm doing some ribbing to give the hanger um, the look of metal with a texture to it. So I'm just doing some curved lines, curving in the direction of the um, hanger. And as I get to the center, it becomes more straight. And just to her FYI, you want to make sure that your watercolors are dry before you do this part. So I'll take this off camera and do the rest of them so I don't bore you to death. And we'll be right back. And here we are. So 
So I decided I wanted to do some kind of a little pattern on here, but I used the brush from the Winsor Newton kit and I really, it didn't have a good tip on it. It just isn't, wasn't working for me. And you'll see I switch it out for another brush, which was a little better. But... You could leave your light bulbs the way they are. They're cute, just plain, or you can embellish them any way you want. Um, just remember to leave space for your to and from and your names that you're going to be putting on the tags. So you'll see I come back in with the my watercolor brush, my, the one that I always use. And I'll put the materials list below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video. I appreciate your help and support. Um, Give me a like and subscribe if you haven't. Help my channel grow so more people get to see my work. So we'll speed through this. And again, have fun with these. You can decorate them any way you see fit. I just wanted them to be more like light bulbs. So I did them in the same colors. Obviously, you'll see that they are the same colors, except for the gold one. I did brown on that one. Um, and I used the wet on dry. So the light bulbs were dry on the paper, and the paintbrush was wet, of course, with, some, with um, less water. You get more detail that way. So take the washi tape off and now we're going to cut them apart. Oh, nope. I'm going to put the to and from on first. I'm using a black Posca pen. And again, that's acrylic paint. You could use a liner brush and acrylic paint. You could use acrylic inks. You could use a marker. If you use a marker, just make sure your watercolors are dry or it will ruin the tips of your pen. So we'll fast forward through this. So here we are, I have them all cut out and they look so adorable. So here's what the thing, you can do what I'm doing here, I'm using a hole punch and I punch each one or you can use double sided tape and use that to adhere and um, put them on your packages. But I'm cutting the hole in the top and we'll fast forward through this real quick. So they look so cute.
So I had some um, metallic threads that my father had used for some punch work that I had for years. So I decided I wanted something silver and I had this in the house. So I cut some string and used it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you can use ribbon, string, yarn, whatever you have. And I did a simple knot and I left the, the uh, thread so I can tie them onto packages with ribbons. And I'll fast forward through that too. So again, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and check out my other video, which I'll put a link to here of Christmas tags and happy holidays. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.